If only computer games and cardboard boxes could give us a fantastic gospel message. Well, actually, they can, and I'm going to do that for you tonight. We are chill, and this is how we roll. <laughs> If you've been following us the last few weeks, you're going to know that we're going with this overarching theme, which is some things aren't right, you were born to change them. And up to now, we've mostly been concentrating on things that aren't right in the world. And we've edged a little bit towards your destiny being that of changing those things, and even your responsibility to be that of changing things. And so tonight, we're back after the, uh, the Halloween break, and we are going to hit that message hard. And from now until Christmas, that's what we're doing every week. But we're going to start things off by talking about the concept of creating your own world. Not accepting the world as it's given to you, but actually creating a new one yourself. And we're doing that with the game Minecraft. Because I don't know what you know about Minecraft, but that's the entire concept behind it. It's not like other computer games where you are given the world in which you have to play. No, you get to design and build your world and then play your games in that. And so tonight, we're going to do Minecraft. For real. And this is how we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to have some kids in that corner, and in that corner, and in that corner, and in that corner. And they're going to have some tasks. And those tasks involve building. And what they're going to be building with? They're going to be building with Minecraft blocks. Otherwise known as cardboard boxes. Take a look. See them in their glory. Yes, they're all throughout the room. Loads of them. Um, we've got, I would say, over a hundred of these boxes. Now then, um, just very quickly about the cardboard boxes. I bought these um, because it was more convenient than going collecting them, which I'll tell you about in a second. Um, however, they're not bad value. These are recycled uh, boxes um, and they come flat packed. Um, I've actually been using this cardboard pretty much every week since we started Chill six weeks ago. And what I've been doing, sorry, I just killed the box as Becky would say. Um, what I've been doing is I've been using that cardboard for the slip and slide that we did uh, in week one. We also made uh, some big, uh, big box thing that, for instance, if you saw it, the, the scurry clown jumped out of one week and we used it as the witch's cauldron the, the next week and stuff. We've been using it every single week. Well, if you look over there, we've now done it up as a Christmas present. Uh, that's this one here, which was decorated by Becky, who's holding the camera. Hi. And then there's another one right there, all made out of the same cardboard, as is this ginormous tree, which we're going to be using next week. Okay, so this cardboard, I, I bought this cardboard, but it's been so usable for so long. And then next week, whatever boxes survive from tonight, which I'm guessing might not be many, um, we're going to use them to make the Christmas decorations uh, going on. So multiple uses out of this stuff. It's really, really usable cardboard. It's great. Um, any that's left over, you can just call a recycling company and they'll come and collect it. Now, some will charge you, but some will actually pay you to take the cardboard away because they can get money for recycling for it. It's pretty cool. Um, but if you can, if you do a night like this, whatever cardboard is left at the end, I recommend fold it away if you can so that you can store it somewhere. Because as you can see, cardboard is just so usable for so many things. Um, if you really don't want to buy the cardboard, and it's not that cheap. I mean, I, I justify the expense because we've been using it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, but if you really want to avoid it, you can actually get it for free. And all you need to do is go to the shops in your area that have a really high volume of, of sales. So like supermarkets, pound stores, things like that. Uh, if you go there and you ask them, a lot of them are throwing away loads of cardboard boxes every single day. You can actually be doing them a favor by coming and getting some and taking it away for them. Okay, some of them have like a big skip out the back and they have to collapse the boxes down and put them in the skip and then pay for someone to come and take them away. You can actually be saving them money by taking cardboard from them. So all you need to do is go around a bunch of shops and just ask them, how many cardboard boxes do you throw away every day? Can we come and take them from you? You're probably gonna need a van and a few people to get it and, and bring it um, if you do that. But uh, then all you need to do is put the boxes together and hey, you do need to spend a little bit of money on parcel tape. It took me two rolls to do all of this. Uh, but again, if you, if you do it far enough in advance, you can order it online, you can get it cheaper, etc. And that's literally it. Tonight is just an absolute load of cardboard. And hopefully it's going to be an absolute load of fun that makes one very simple message. Our overall is some things aren't right, you were born to change them. Tonight we are starting the change. Tonight we're going to challenge them to be the change in this world. We're using the message, the world you live in is the world you make. 
And to make an example of that, we're using Minecraft, which should be popular, should be a load of fun. It's actually a lot easier to make than you think. So that's it for now. I'm not going to go any more into that. Um, but what I will say is, youth leaders, I want to help you. I want to help you put on really great youth nights. It's easier than you think, and I want to give you all the help you need. So what I need you to do, okay, if you check out the website below, it's www.wearechill.com. You go there, join the Facebook group, get online, say hi, ask for resources, ask questions about this night, any other night. Let's get into conversation. Tell me how I can help you to run great youth nights. It's that easy. Just get on board. We are chill. Dot com. Okay, so that's it for now. We're going to go over to the games live. Okay, so this is it. I hope you're ready for this. I hope nothing falls apart, including people's heads, because you never know. This is youth jumping around. And we have Stiotti. Yes, I know you're watching. We know what you do. Okay, right. So that's it for now. We're going to the games live. Okay, we are chill, and this is how we roll in three, two, eins. So we're going to have a go at doing something. Okay. Um, what corner are you guys in? Get in that corner, get in that corner. Right, so here's what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna give you a challenge, okay? We're gonna build. You guys are all gonna build right now, okay? And I wanna see which team can build the best structure, okay? I'm going purely for height, okay? Now then, you all can go mining for things to build out of, but they're all in these seats here, okay? So, if you get it, your opponents can't. So, shh. Job one is to get the blocks and then start building. I'm looking for the highest tower that stays standing. However, shh, every now and then the lighting is going to change from this, Becky, the lighting is going to change to this. Hey, okay, right, when the lighting changes, the game changes. You go from building your tower to knocking everybody else's down. Okay, and then when the lights change back, then you can start rebuilding your own.
Over here, we have a blatant fail. Um, it, it, it's a good effort, but one, two, three, four, five options in a row. Okay. Thank you. You don't just have blocks, you have diamonds. Okay, guys, that's your team diamond over there. This is your team diamond. Right, okay, that's that team's diamond. And Chelsea's got that team's diamond. Right, okay. Guys, listen up. You, I'm giving you 30 seconds. Shut up! I'm giving you 30 seconds to hide it in your tower as best you can. Okay, after that, listen. After that, it's everybody's job to steal everybody else's diamonds. Okay, whichever tower has the most diamonds in it at the end of this wins. Okay, so get that track going. Okay, so you got 30 seconds to make your tower into something that will hide that diamond. You got 30 seconds. I'll tell you, you got 30 seconds. I'm getting you. 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 I'm getting Some things aren't right, you are born to change them. We've been looking at things aren't right. From now to Christmas, we're just gonna look at how you can change it. And I thought that Minecraft is actually a fantastic analogy of that. You can literally just say, I don't want that world I'm being given. I don't want to inherit that world. I'm deciding I'm making a new one. Because that's the thing, guys. With every generation, you get to make the world your way. So everything you don't like about this world, well, what are you waiting for someone else to change it? No, it's your job, it's your responsibility, it's your right. 
And the thing is, it's exactly what you can do. You can change it. So 10 really simple words for you. The world you live in is the world you make. So don't go your whole life complaining about the world that you don't like. Take the opportunity to be the one that changes it. And I'm gonna show you a few people who are very embarrassed. Well, most of them don't, don't even know what's coming. But yeah, I know, Becky right now. I know, Becky's one of them. Oh. Amelia's one as well, but we'll see. Right, okay, so yeah, guys, here's a few examples of a few people who just decided to make the rules their own way and make the world a little bit of a better place. Come on, let's run that video. Tell me when we've got the free time, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Maybe 